Hello, hello. God is good. Mungu ni mwema. Mimi naitwa Mama Taifa Eva Mwalili wa Ligi ya Washindi nikiwa na mchungaji naitwa Bonfas Makanda. Yes. Kutoka Ongata Rongai Nairobi Kenya. Amen. We love you so much. Yes. Amen. Amen. Welcome to our show. This is another mm. powerful show that uh, mm. the Lord is revealing uh, the hidden mysteries mm. to the children of God from wherever you are all mm. over the world. Mm. This is going to change your life. Amen. 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 So hapa toko tunazungumza eh, masola eh, ya hali vile ambavyo zinatukumba mambo ya kifamilia. Biblia inasema namna gani mchungaji kwa sababu Biblia nayo inazungumza waziwazi. No. Kwa hivyo karibu sana katika mazungumzo haya no. na kuna jambo ambalo mchungaji nitataka tuweze kuzungumza no. kuhusiana na na laana mm-hmm. hasi mm-hmm. yes. Kwanza kitu cha kwanza no. unajua watu wengine huamini kwamba kwa sababu mimi nimeokoka no. siwezi nika, nikapata laana. Mm-hmm. Unajua siwezi nikapata laana. Mm-hmm. Na hata tukianza laana ni nini? Laana katika lugha ya Kiingereza naweza sema kwamba a curse is a pay mm. that one receives after certain mistake ama kwa Kiswahili naweza sema kwamba mm, mm. ni malipo ambayo mtu mm. hupokea baada ya kufanya makosa fulani malipo ambayo mtu hupata baada, baada ya kufanya makosa, makosa. fulani uh-huh. ina maana ya kwamba mm. laana ambayo haina sababu mm. hiyo ndio haiwezi kafanya kazi mm-hmm. a curse without a cause has no effect according mm. to the bible mm-hmm. so you realize kwamba kuna watu wengi ambao wameokoka mm. lakini bado kuna kusumbuliwa na laana lakini hawaelewi mm. ama hawajui ni kwa nini inaosumbua ama inafanyika namna gani mm-hmm. and that's why i want us to 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 start from today mm. and maybe we want to read the bible the book of yes. galatians chapter mm-hmm. chapter 3 verse mm-hmm. 13 and 14 mm-hmm. galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and 13, 14 christ redeemed us from mm-hmm. the curse of the law mm-hmm. having become a curse for us for mm-hmm. it is written cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree that upon the gentiles might come the blessing of Abraham in Christ Jesus that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith amen mm. now that curse is every man that hangs on a, tree. on a tree and therefore Jesus became a curse mm. so that we can be delivered from the curse we need to, to know one thing mm. uh, that before Jesus came to destroy the curse we have what called the curse of the law mm. ambayo ilikuja laana ilikuja juu ya mwanadamu because of the mistakes that Adam did mm. so you are counted a sinner mm-hmm. not because you sinned mm. but because you are born in Adam mm-hmm. and these curses when they come they are in four level four causes okay mm-hmm. they are caused by four things that's a mm-hmm. number one mm-hmm. kuna ile tunaita man pronounced curse Man pronounced curse. Exactly. Yeah. Man pronounced curse mm. has more to do with witchcraft mm. uh, or people cursing. There are people that the devil has empowered them mm. to curse you. Mm. You do something against them, they curse you. Mm-hmm. And when they curse you and they realize that uh, and it's found that hakuna uh, ile protection ya Mungu juu yako mm-hmm. inakufikia na inaanza kufanya madhara katika maisha yako. Mm. Kuna laana ya pili inaitwa God pronounced curse. God pronounced curse ni wakati mwanadamu anageuka masharti ya Mungu. Mm. Unaposoma Genesis chapter 12 verse 13, mm-hmm. Mungu alisema kwamba nitabariki wale ambao wanakubariki. Na pia nitalaani wale ambao wanakulaani. Wale ambao wanakulaani. Mm. Mimi wakati labda wewe unalaani mtu ambaye tayari Mungu ameshambariki. Mm. So anytime unalaani mtu ambaye Mungu amembariki tayari, mm. wewe pia unalaani. Wewe unalaaniwa. Mm-hmm. Because is a promise Mungu anasema kwamba nitalaani atakaye kulaani. Mm. So if you are blessed already, yes. mtu ambaye anakulaani wewe, mm. you also encounter the same curses. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo hiyo tunaweza kuita God pronounced curses. Mm-hmm. Kuna zingine zinaitwa inherited curses. Yaani hizi zimetoka kwa ni ukoo ama ume hizi mm-hmm. zinatoka kwa ukoo na pia unapata kama ni kitu ambacho kimekuwa kikiendelea kwa jamii unapata babu yako labda alikuwa anapitia mambo fulani mm-hmm. baba yako amepitia mambo fulani mm-hmm. wewe pia umepitia mambo fulani mm-hmm. unapata kwamba the same trend ambayo imekuwa ikifanyika kwa familia mm-hmm. na hii kwanza inafanya sana sana na <coughs> things to do with names majina ambayo umepewa aha majina majina ambayo umepewa pia oh, oh, oh. na, na, na damu unajua yeah. zina kitu what you call blood pattern yeah yeah blood pattern unaposoma Ezekiel uh, 16 mm-hmm. from uh, from verse uh, uh, Ezekiel 16 from verse 6 mm. unasema kwamba uh, Yesu anasema Mungu anasema kwamba nilipita kando yako mm-hmm. lakini nikakuona ukingangana katika damu mm-hmm. so you are struggling in blood mm-hmm. oh, because you are struggling in blood mm-hmm. Mungu akasema kwamba nikakuombea mm-hmm. ili usifanye nini usipate shida kwa hivyo unapata kwamba for every name you are given yes. every name mm-hmm. has got power has got effect mm-hmm. and it has things that uh, it causes in the body mm-hmm. or even in the life of a mm-hmm. human being mm-hmm. kwa hivyo unapata kwamba wakati una ilana ya, ya ukoo ama ilana ama, ama inherited curses mm-hmm. trend huwa inafanana mm-hmm. unapata familia yeah. fulani mm-hmm. 
labda wasi unapata tu wasichana wote kwa boma huwa hawalewi hawalewi ukiangalia eh. mama yao pia the same ukiangalia some certain things trends unapata yeah. kuna trend inafanana yani they relate with them mm. hata utasikia wengine wanakuambia sisi hapa kwetu inakuanga hivi yani na alafu na wao pia wana, ni kama wameipokea wanasema kwamba hapa, hapa kwetu, kwetu inakuanga hivi kwa hivyo hiyo ni lana ni lana itaka you know aha. even there are some sickness ukienda kwa hospitali mm. daktari anakuwa anakuuliza mm. do you have anything like this in your family or in yes, your generation yes. why do you think even the doctor are able to ask you about the same mm-hmm. because they understand there are things that are transferred from person to, to person. person okay exactly. okay sasa umeokoka wacha tuanze tuone hii ya nne sasa ya nne inaitwa inaitwa self imposed curses mm-hmm. self imposed curses hii huja wakati wanadamu wanakuwa na ujinga wao wenyewe wanafanya mambo ambayo hayastahili mm-hmm. unafanya mambo mabaya kisha baadaye unajiletea mm-hmm. haya mambo wewe mwenyewe ina inakupata mm-hmm. kwa hivyo unapata kwamba zote zinakuja zinakuwa ni laana mm-hmm. na kwa nini tumeokoka yes. and then why are they uh, affecting our lives exactly this what people don't understand mm. when you're born again this is what it means mm-hmm. you are saved you are being saved you will be saved so ni, con- ni kitu continuous exactly no <laughs> what happens a man mm-hmm. is a spirit mm. you have a soul mm-hmm. and you live inside a body mm. so when you got born again it's your spirit that got born again it's your yeah. spirit that got saved yeah. so your spirit is born again mm-hmm. it has no problem mm-hmm. but now your soul mm-hmm. keeps being born again by the renewal of your mind and the transformation uh-huh. by the information uh-huh. you receive uh-huh. that's what the bible talks about progressive salvation aha uh-huh. so the more because for example what is deliverance mm-hmm. deliverance is not casting out of demons mm. no deliverance is acquiring of knowledge or information mm-hmm. to set you free So ndio 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 maana unapata kwamba no. mtu anaweza kuambia kwamba niliokoka like like 20 years ago exactly. miaka 20 exactly. lakini ukimwangalia maisha yake ni, maisha yake ni hivyo hivyo hayajai badilika it is because mm. alipookoka haja haja unajua uh, our, our physical body mm. inapokeanga sauti ambazo zinasikika yes. but our spirit man mm. receives the signal or the voice of the information it's fed sasa that's why bila nasema kwamba mm-hmm. neno hili la torati mm-hmm. uh, Yoshua 1:11 okay. akaambiwa asiliache asiliachilie <laughs> aendelee kulitafakari usiku na mchana kabisa na asiende kushoto asiende mm-hmm. kulia mm-hmm. ili njia zake zimareke na ile afanikiwe kwa sababu gani mm-hmm. the more unaendelea kukula neno la Mungu na kusoma the right information mm-hmm. the more your mind your spirit your your heart mm-hmm. inaendelea kuokoka kwa sababu gani mm-hmm. unapata information ambayo inakusave mm-hmm. hata mtu tabia mtu hache tabia mbaya hata kwa sababu yeye ni ameokoka tu hapana mm-hmm. unapata mtu ameokoka lakini bado unapata ndani mwake bado kuna nguvu zinapigana na yeye kufanya mama ba high five. Mm. Hasa hapo ndipo unapata kwamba mm-hmm. ni yale maneno ama ile information ambayo mtu hupokea ndio inam transform. Ndio inam transform. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Ya yeah, kwa hivyo sasa ni kumaanisha kwamba no. ndio umeokoka no. lakini daily siku daily. baada ya siku. Exactly. Siku baada ya siku. Siku baada ya siku hey. unakuendelea kutafakari neno la Mungu. Mm. And not only tafakari kutafakari neno la Mungu. Mm. You practice that which you have received wana sema hivi aha, aha. receiving of the information mm. minus the application of the same mm-hmm. is an abortion kusoma <laughs> tena the receiving of information <laughs> minus the application, application of the same information yes. is an abortion Mm-hmm. Any information you have received and mm-hmm. you have not practiced mm-hmm. you have just aborted mm-hmm. so god said i'll say let us let us make a great man mm-hmm. in our own image mm-hmm. and likeness kwa hivyo tuliumbwa kwa mfano na sura ya mungu what does that mean mm-hmm. image means we look like god yes likeness means we function like god mm-hmm. but why is it that sometimes we are not exactly behaving like god mm. do you know sema hivi first john chapter 4 verse 17 mm-hmm. as christ is in heaven yeah. so mm. are we here on earth mm-hmm. so you only become god mm. what makes the difference between man and god mm-hmm. is the word you possess in your spirit amen 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 so when you take that word yeah. into your spirit mm. and you start living by that word mm. you become like god amen you remember moses yeah. moses was a human being at alikuwa mwoga na mungu akamwambia go and deliver my children yes. from egypt yeah And the Bible says Moses akaweza nitafanyaje mm. akasema nitakupatia ndugu yako atakusaidia mm-hmm. and then you realize when Moses went mm. uh, when Moses threw down the in, in ile ile staff yake ile ikafanyika mm. nini nyoka akakuwa nyoka the power of god has started working in him because mm. he was doing what mm. he was practicing what he has what he had heard kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kwamba no. usisikie kama sasa hivi vile ambavyo unatutazama kwenye YouTube uh-huh. usisikie neno la lishie hapo hapana bitafakari mchana na usiku lifanye fanya hilo neno 
when you practice the word, yeah. you become a god. Amen. And as you become a god, mm. you also develop the power of, of creativity. Mm. Unaweza kwanza ku command vitu jinsi Mungu anavyofanya mm-hmm. na vinafanyika katika maisha mtu. Amen. Kwa hiyo ulipookoka, roho yako ndio roho ndio iliyookoka. Mm. Spirit uh, yani uh, spirit mm-hmm. iliyookoka. Mm-hmm. Alafu your soul inaendelea kuokoka daily ukiendelea okay, kutransform na neno la Mungu. Aha, aha. Lakini mwili wako mm-hmm. utaokoka siku ya mwisho mbinguni. Mwili uweze kuokoka ukiwa pa duniani. Mm-hmm. Kuna watu wanasema kwa mimi nimeokoka. Mm-hmm. Your body can never be saved. Yes. It will be saved on the last day. Mm-hmm. Sasa the reason why is the lana zinakufikia ni kwa sababu spirit imeokoka ndio. Mm-hmm. But in you mm-hmm. nikikata uh, mama taifa utapata mm-hmm. damu yako mm-hmm. kuna damu ya mwalili nitapata ndani maana mm-hmm. the fact that uliokoka hauku kuacha kuwa mwanadamu ulibaki mwanadamu na ndani mwako kuna damu ya mwanadamu mm. na hii damu ya mwanadamu ambayo iko ndani mwako mm. inasababisha hata sura inafanana uh-huh. DNA inafanana uh-huh. sasa hii damu ndio uh-huh. inapigana usiku na mchana inafanya mtu uh-huh. ina, inaleta kitu kinaitwa carry overs uh-huh. ama pattern uh-huh. trend Yes, za kifamilia. Yes, za kifamilia. Tuko kwetu tuko hivi, tuko hivi kwa sababu ya hiyo damu. Tuko huko kana zaenda kukuja. Yeah. Alafu sasa how do you em- how are people empowering these things? Mm. You empower these things by speaking positive about them. Amen. Amen. Ni kwa sababu unapoangalia katika mlango kila mwanadamu kuna pipes za baraka ambazo Mungu amelisi juu ya maisha ya mwanadamu. Mm-hmm. Ndani mako unapata health, promotion, mm-hmm. prosperity zinakuja. Mm-hmm. But that area ambayo you are worried about, mm-hmm. you shrink the flow of God's blessing from coming to pass. Mm-hmm. Ile area ambayo una impress mm-hmm. inaendelea ku manifest. Mm-hmm. So until mwanadamu ajue ya kwamba mimi nimeokoka mm-hmm. na sasa kufanya nini? Mm-hmm. Unapata ameokoka lakini tabia zake mm-hmm. inataka kama mtu ambaye hajaokoka. Mm-hmm. Sasa tukiwa pale mchungaji eh. Naam. And I hope ya kwamba unaendelea kuandika hizi notes kwa sababu ni muhimu sana. Yes. Kumbuka katika mazungumzo haya Biblia waziwazi wazi, tunazungumza kuhusiana na na laana, kasi mm-hmm. Ndiyo umeokoka lakini mm-hmm. kasi zinakufuata. Ni kwa nini na mchungaji amepeana mpaka eh, aina za laana? Mm-hmm. Lakini pia mchungaji no. eh, kama mimi katika filika filika tu zangu tu kuna dada nikawa nazungumza naye akaniambia mm-hmm. kila mahali akienda. Mm-hmm. Yaani anapata kazi, akipata kazi mm-hmm. mwaka mmoja anafanya hiyo kazi. Baada ya mwaka mmoja kazi na katika. Mm-hmm. Na imekuwa tu hivyo tu, imekuwa hivyo tu, imekuwa hivyo tu kila wakati kila wakati. Mm-hmm. Kazi na katika, kazi na katika. Na so akawa anasema hivi ya kwamba mimi sielewi ni kitu gani. Mm-hmm. Na hata watu wananichukia, watu hawanipendi, haelewi ni kwa nini watu hawampendi, mm-hmm. mambo kama yale. Mm-hmm. So nikawa najiuliza, hii ni laana ama ni nini? Ni laana ni kwa sababu kile inafanyika, mm-hmm. nafao hiyo kunguru hawaendi mahali popote ambapo hakuna mzoga. Mm-hmm. Ukiona kitu kinafanyika inaashiria kuna kitu kinaenda ndani mwako. Mm-hmm. Ni kwa mfano, mm-hmm. uh, wakati kwa tunaongea mambo ya familia tunaweza kuonyesha watu kuhusu kitu kinaitwa mm-hmm. you attract yourself. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo unapata kwamba mm-hmm. kwa kila kitu ambacho unafanya hizi laana zinafanyika. Mm-hmm. Na hizi laana zikifanyika zinaleta signs tofauti tofauti. Yes. Kama sign ya kwanza mm-hmm. prolonged affliction. Yaani mm-hmm. mateso ambayo hayaishi ukitoka kwa hii ingine na kuja ukitoka kwa hii ingine na kuja mm-hmm. chronic sickness magonjwa ambayo ni kama haieleweki na haishangi katika familia mm-hmm. uh, ana fulfillment of uh, non fulfillment of what was promised kuna watu wanaahidiwa vitu mm-hmm. but those promises never come to pass mm-hmm. kuna vitu vingine kama dreams manipulation ndio nanga watu wanasema wanapigwa kwa, kwa usingizi mm-hmm. wengine wanaota mm-hmm. wanafanya mapenzi kwa, us, kwa usingizi wa kilala kwa ndoto mm-hmm. all these things are signs mm-hmm. continued struggle in life mm-hmm. alafu broken families mm-hmm. una familia uwezi ukapata mm-hmm. kitu kizuri ama familia ambayo imesimama hizo ni laana hizo ni laana dalili za laana dalili za laana and you see you cannot treat kazi ngumu kwa daktari mm-hmm. sio kutibu kudunga mm-hmm. because kazi ngumu kwa daktari ni kudiagnose kujua aina ya shida mm-hmm. jambo la pili mm-hmm. ni kujua ni nini inaweza tibu hapo mambo haya mm-hmm. baada ya hapo mm-hmm. hata na, 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 na qualified practitioner anaweza mm-hmm. kupa dawa na upone amen amen amen, amen. So, time yetu naona inayo. No, no. Sasa mtu ambaye anatutazama labda anaji haya mambo ambayo umezungumza, no. ameona ndani no. yake akaona kuna kitu hapa. No. How how are you delivered kutokana na laana? That's why Biblia imesema uh, Biblia imesema kile kitu ambacho tunaenda kuongea kuhusu sasa zile aina ile kazi ambayo sasa wamekuja kufanya maana ndio tunakuja kufanya part 2 mm. tuweze kuonyesha mtu anakuwa delivered namna gani. Mm-hmm. But the mwanadamu hawezi ku deliver mwanadamu mwingine. Aha. Ya power tuajue hivyo. Hata ukiombea watu na kuwa deliver, mm. what you are only doing, you are ministering deliverance mm. or ministry. But deliverance, mwenye anafanya deliverance mm. ni Mungu. Peke yake. Peke yake. Amen. Na sasa ni injili kamili, full gospel message peke mm. yake mm-hmm. inaweza ku deliver mwanadamu mm. ambao tunataka tuyaangalie tu, 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 katika part 2 ambapo tunaenda kuangalia. Okay, very good, very good. 
Haya ndio hivyo uh, natumia kwamba umepata sehemu ya kwanza ya mambo ya laana types of cases na mambo kama yale bila shaka umeapata. Sehemu yetu ya pili tukao tunaangalia vile ambavyo mchungaji ametuambia how can you be delivered? Uta utakombolewa namna gani? Utahubiriwa vipi? Ni vipi ambavyo unafaa kuishi kwa sababu kabisa tumekaa na laana katika nyumba zetu. Tume wazazi weng, wengine wetu ni wazazi, umekaa na watoto. Mm. Mambo ambayo wewe kama mzazi ulipitia ndio haya sasa yanafanyika kwa watoto wako. Tusipochunga kizazi kingine nacho kitabeba yale ambayo kizazi exactly. cha kwanza kilibeba. Actually do you nasema lamentation mamboleze 5 7 inasema kwamba wazazi walitenda dhambi na sasa hawapo. Nasi tumebeba. Tumebeba matokeo ya haya za hiyo dhambi. Eh tunahitaji kukombolewa. Sawa sawa. Mungu akutende mema, Mungu akubariki. Mimi naitwa Mama Taifa Eva Mwalili. Naitwa Pastor Bonface Makanda. Mungu akubariki sana. Amen. Asante.